Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Spilling the Tea. This is the Twin Flame Edition. So this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot, and I'm here with Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot. Hey, Carly. Hey, guys. We are so glad you're here. We're having a great time doing these. Um, like she said, this is episode 11, so it is a perfect time to do a Twin Flame deal. So let's do it. Okay, so... Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. Give me the energy for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know? Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So somebody wants to offer their love, but Page of Pentacles is an apology. I also have the Seven of Cups. This could be somebody daydreaming. But there's an ending, so something new can begin. And someone may be holding on or holding back. For, to get a victory. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So somebody who's trying to master their emotions. Under the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like somebody's having some regrets. And you have the Ace of Cups here and the Six of Cups. So I feel like, and you also have the Pre-Empress here, Nine of Pentacles. So let's see what this is all about. So I feel like somebody wants to be with, somebody wants to offer their love and be with somebody. And I feel like there's a page of pentacles, could be a small offer or an apology. But I feel like, um, I feel like they're, I feel like they're daydreaming about this. I feel like they're thinking about this. This is the, their thought process. They may need to end something to start something new that, and they're still holding on, wanting a victory here. And this person may try to master their emotions before they come in. It looks like they could be missing you and want to offer this new beginning in love. Um, and you're somebody from the past, a past life soulmate. Um, you're the pre-empress here. So I just feel like Aries is possibly just thinking a lot about you and is ready trying to get it together so that they can come forward and offer that love. All right. All right, let's see what we got. And also, we're both using the same Twin Flame Journey Tarot, just in case. Oh, right out of the gate, we've got the Emperor, okay? okay? So this is the card of Aries. This is Aries, all up in their divine masculine energy. Queen of Cups. Woo! Um, they may be trying to tap into their intuition and master their emotions, or this could be somebody, this could be you um, or anyone. Let's see what we have here. Nine of Pentacles, look at that. Same thing. Yeah. So, okay, here's what here's here's what I am what I think. I think your Aries is trying to master their emotions about the person who this is potentially you or it could be, could be flipped um about this 9 of pentacles. But what I'm getting here is that um this divine masculine is not always good at, you know, the emperor isn't always great at the feels. Okay? So he's feeling really dreamy about you. Yeah, 9 of cups satisfaction and wish fulfillment. He's thinking about you a lot. Um, <laughs> hermit, soul searching. Yeah. He's thinking about you a lot, trying to master his emotions. Um, but he's got a cycle that he needs to complete first, that whether yeah. it's someone else or some, something in his energy that he's not quite done with. It doesn't necessarily have to be that he's in a relationship. He's just got something that he needs to finish, nine of swords. Um, so what, what's happening is he's, he's kind of strung up in this, in this anxiety. But we do have the tower. So divine intervention is coming. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands, defense mechanism. Whatever he's doing, he's he's struggling through. He's he's struggling through it. Um, potentially was an old relationship with the Hierophant um, that he sees differently now with the uh, hanged man. And here he comes with the eight of wands. Eight yeah. of wands. And he's, he's also, he's coming towards you because he's walking away from something else. So there you go. Oh, oh good. Okay, well, yeah. good emperor energy. Okay, so yeah. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, clarity, and guidance for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, please? What's Taurus need to know? Yeah, so these, these uh, Twin Flame Journey cards are from Mystic Moon. Uh, Mystic Moon. Um, you can get they're, any of they're them beautiful. on yep. Etsy. They're wonderful. So they are Holy wonderful. Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, clarity, and guidance for Taurus. Taurus, Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Uh, somebody's missing somebody from the past. They want to communicate. They want to come towards you. They want this new beginning of love and abundance. They're missing you. They want to come 
this is somebody from their past. They want to come towards and, and communicate under the bottom of the deck. Again, with this king of cups, there's some kind of a burden in a new beginning in love because of a king of swords towards the empress um, that and the devil. So, um, ooh, okay. I feel like somebody's obsessed. Looks like somebody here. Look, we have somebody reg- uh, missing somebody from the past wanting to communicate. They want a new beginning. But I, I, I feel like it's this king of cups trying to master his emotions. Uh, but the burden is there was a new beginning in love with a king of swords. So the plot thickens, okay, with the empress. And now somebody's obsessed with trying to reconcile with somebody. Okay, so I feel like there's two people, Taurus energy here. They're not here. They're not they're not showing up in the read. But you do have somebody trying to master their emotions. But the burden is there's a new beginning in love with somebody else. And I feel like with the Empress, with you know, this being their Empress, now they're they're obsessed with reconciling that judgment card. So Well the de- the devil is uh, never gonna outdo the Empress, but that's a that's a gnarly twist. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, I just felt like somebody, somebody can't stand the fact that she's with somebody else, and now they can't get her out of the head and want, want to come back. Two of swords. And on this card, it says um, stalemate and indecision. So they yeah. are literally, they're wrapped up in this in this energy. God, look at that. And the eight of, eight of swords wrapped up in it. Both of these are, sh- you know, they're, they're trapped. They're stuck. Somebody is, yeah. is in a spot they cannot get out of. Um, yeah. wanting, to move, wanting to move forward. They're trying to make slow, steady progress. For some, oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. I said, for some reason, I feel like things are about to to pick up was what I was going to say. And here's the chariot. So the, whoever this is, it, whether this is you or your person that's stuck on something or someone or trying to come towards you because you're with someone, whatever it is, here they come. Okay. And th- this, this horse is not slowing down. It's not, it's not slowing down. Uh, King of wands. If you have a, if you have a King of wands coming for you and he's on, he's on the chariot, you're not going to stop him. He's coming. That's the way it is. Page of Swords. And he's coming to tell you something. <laughs> he's probably been watching you with, with this other person. Um, that could be your emperor or he could be. Take it as it resonates. But let me just tell you, if you have, this is just my opinion as a reader, if you have the chariot and the king of wands, you might as well have the emperor because nothing is going to stop this king of wands. Not one thing. Not well, one thing. For me, so, as, for me as a reader, the emperor, the king, uh, the king of wands is the emperor in a lower vibration. Right. And if you, if you put him on this horse, yeah, everybody it's, else is done for. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Bottom, bottom of the deck, queen of wands and death. So something is going to end. Okay. Whether, and, and you have free will. Okay. If you are already in a situation ship or a relationship or whatever you want to call it, Something is going to end, whether it's this person coming at you or your relationship. So you, you've got a choice here. We see that with this two of swords, okay? Two of pentacles. You have a choice here. High priestess. Somebody's keeping secrets, but you also um, need to connect to your higher power. That's You have to. You've got some, with the five of uh, cups here, you've got some old wounds. I think everybody in this potential epic saga, which is what this looks like to me, has some old wounds. But you put that King of Wands on the chariot, and I don't care who you are or where you are, he's coming through. So if that's not you, if that's not you, get ready. (laughs) Okay, let's see what's coming for Gemini. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Gemini. What's coming for Gemini, please? Gemini, high priestess, not speaking, using your intuition, keeping secrets, knight of swords, someone's a, a harsh truth, um, nine of pentacles, pre-empress, ace of cups, a new beginning in love. Look at that. Look right. at that. So I feel like somebody may be using their intuition. They're not telling somebody something, but then somebody's rushing towards. I feel like, I feel like, see, I feel like the high priestess here is this, this, uh, pre-empress because her back's to you you know someone's rushing towards her with and she's not speaking you might not have been speaking to this person they're rushing towards you to speak a truth to this person about love so um under the bottom of the deck you have the four of swords 
I feel like resting and recovering, uh, wanting to apologize. So somebody may have been trying to heal and recover something. They need to apologize um, and heal a situation. It's been around for a long time and it had to do with deception. And now the justice is coming through. So I feel like you weren't speaking now they come, they're coming towards you. They want to talk about love. They needed to recover or you needed to recover. So they needed to apologize and heal this for a long time. And the deception, you're going to get justice for. I had a whole bunch of cards flip. I don't know what the hell that was. All right. Hold on. There we go. Oi. Sorry. <laughs> Tarot faux pas. There we go. All right, so I think that's the order I'm going to leave them in because I just that's just what happened. So Ten of Cups. So there's a, a family situation, some emotional fulfillment, some happiness, um, and a new beginning. So somebody may be – I feel like somebody's exiting that, though. That's what I feel like. Or there's a Queen of Wands coming at you. See how this Queen of Wands is looking at this Ten of Cups situation? She's She takes no prisoners. She's in a low vibration. She'll do anything to get what she wants, okay? Um, and what she wants is the emperor. Oi. So, it's happening. Again, these are right. I, I, I swear to God, I shuffled. These were, so something is, is moving faster now. Whether it's the ending of this, of this contentment and joy, this ten of cups, um, and a new beginning. But there's somebody coming, coming, coming for this. I think the emperor is in this position. That's what I think. Um, may, uh, yeah, this. This lady right here, this two of wands and this queen of wands, I do not like this because planning and decisions. This person is plotting to come after this relationship because she thinks that that's her emperor. I think that this is your emperor. That's what I think. Six of swords. Yeah. So they've been planning this for a long time. And I feel like, boy, old wounds. Yeah, there's something unfinished. So I feel like there's somebody that you probably were not talking to. And the reason that I don't think that you're talking to them for whatever reason, um, is because they hurt you in the past, right? So you're not, you're not talking to them, but they're coming. Here they come with messages of love, right? They yes. want to tell you that, that they've mastered their emotions, but I don't think that they have because when a queen of wands comes towards you in a two of wands energy, devil, that's not, that's not good energy. So somebody from your past is trying to come back and ruin your happiness. So it's up to you. They may be, they may be manifesting you thinking that you're there, you're there 1111, you're there four of wands, but I just don't see that it is. When I have this old wounds and the devil coming out with this queen, I don't like it. I don't like it. Somebody from your past is coming for you. That's, I don't like it. There you go. Do what you will. <laughs> Do what you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so cancer. Oh my lord, it's cancer. It's cancer. Okay, let's get into cancer and see what's going on. Okay. Boy. Okay. So I feel like, ooh, someone's taking the time to look at something with a different mindset. They're making a decision and it's causing them a tower moment. Why is that? Because they're, they're, oh, because there's two kings here, king of wands and a king of cups, and there's an ending so something new can begin. So someone's taking the time to make a decision is causing a tower moment. It's causing a tower moment because we have a king of cups, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. This could be cancer. I don't feel like this is your energy, even though it's the king of cups. It could be, but I feel like there's the king of wands. I feel like somebody has a choice between two kings. And, um, and if you're a masculine, um, this could be your energy and somebody you're dealing with has a king of wands on the, so keep that in mind. It, you know, I hear sometimes the, I always come in as feminine energy take it how it resonates with you, however it is. And it could be in reverse. So take it like that. But I feel like someone's trying to take the time to understand something differently, to make a decision, bringing down that tower because there's a king of cups, there's a king of wands and an ending. So something new can begin under the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Cancer has a lot of burdens on her back because of something long term and committed. Now, she could be married to one of these two kings and she's trying to rest and recover from that to speak her truth about a choice between two. 
she has she has the uh, the burden here of 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 a commitment i feel like there's a burden and a commitment um and she's trying to rest and recover so she can actually speak her mind about this be honest be straightforward handle her business that's a pretty straightforward reading for you cancer for whatever reason it reminds me of the song two princes by the spin doctors i don't know if anybody knows that song anyway got to make a choice got to make a choice all right, let's see what's up. And I was also going to say, too, that I come across as masculine energy a lot. So you have both. Eight of Swords. So somebody is really, really stuck and bound um, up in their head. Um, three of Swords about a third-party situation, which is exactly what this is. Exactly what this is. Um, four of Swords trying to heal and recover from something, right? Seeing things differently. I feel like you have yeah. the same thing there, Barb. I do. <laughs> I do. Ten, Definitely. Ten, ten of swords. There's going to be a painful ending here for someone. That's just a fact. Yes. But there's also going to be there's also going to be a six of wands, a success and recognition for someone here. Okay. Queen of cups. Here, here she is. You okay, can't. Here she is. You, you, can't, <laughs> you, you can't make that up. You know, my, no. you know what I'm saying? And no, we're reading cancer right now. She's coming out large and in charge in her reading. She is. And she's going to have somebody here is going to be have some pain there's going to be an ending because something that wasn't for them has to go right this two of pentacles you can't balance like this for the rest of your life it does not work somebody's got to make a choice page of wands um yeah somebody's coming in to tell you so somebody is manifesting this if this is you if this is not you this is your person i've got the star on the bottom of the deck universal alignment so this third party situation is meant to happen. It's very divinely guided. You're going to make the right choice. Okay. So whatever that choice is for you. Not everybody's going to make the same choice, but you're going to make the right choice. If you take enough time to think about it, queen of pentacles. Um, yeah, they see you as their wife. They, they want you to choose them. Nine of swords. They, you know, they want it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 10 of pentacles. So they want something balanced. They want something, you know, they want something permanent. So there yes, you go. Definitely. Yep, that's what I saw too. So, okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for the Leos. What does oh, the Leo, Leo. need to know? What does Leo need to know? We literally need to know everything and we need to know it right now. If you're Ace Leo, of Cups, you first feel. cup out. Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's a new beginning of love and someone's healing an ending so something new can begin. Cycle closing out, okay? King of Wands. There he is, Leo. Leo, there you are. Yeah, he's a leader. He's a visionary. Something long-term and committed. Uh, but there's a little bit of a burden here. What's the burden? He's at a crossroads, trying to figure out which direction he wants to go in. Queen of Pentacles. Do I want the wife? Do I need strength for this? Holding back. Okay, I need to get some more clarity here because, okay, there's something hidden. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm, okay, so there's a burden. There's a burden here, and somebody's at a crossroads about this Queen of Pentacles needing strength and maybe holding on or holding back. The reason is there's the moon card. There are secrets and illusions. Seven of Cups illusions so secret illusions somebody's doing magic needs to heal something somebody doing magic it needs to heal with that seven of cups that's that's options illusion confusion or daydreaming now could be two things somebody could be doing magic or somebody is hiding an option there's a secret option here and somebody needs to heal. But I don't think you need to heal from that. I feel like I feel like they need to heal from whatever nonsense is done because somebody's feeling stuck and bound. OK, that's magic. That's magic. Feeling stuck and bound, needing to heal, feeling stuck and bound after something that's hidden, a secret illusion. Nice. Well, not nice, but yeah. And magic could be anything from literally people just really wishing you the worst to people actually like sitting at home doing a spell. There's no there's no specific definition of magic. Let me just say that. Oh, however, whatever is going on is going on because the universe has said this is time. It's time right now. 
it is time. Somebody's going to get left out in the cold, or this is you or your person feeling isolated and alone because they've just got too much that they have to deal with, and they're they're they feel like an outsider almost in a relationship and in it just in general. But here comes the wheel of fortune again, destiny, two cards of destiny, and here you or your person is stuck right in the middle, right? Um, eight of wands. They're going to have to cut themselves loose. Woo! King of swords. So the eight of wands and the king of swords. That is fast, smart, hot energy. Let me just tell you. I'm just. I'm just. Just saying. <laughs> and there's the choice. Because somebody's going to have to walk away of some from something. What's on the bottom? Justice and the chariot and the devil. Um, this has been brewing for a long time. Um, and somebody is in a toxic situation, but they're getting ready to get out. They're getting ready to break free because we have the lovers, justice, and the chariot. Something is about to, like, and the eight of wands, something is about to break loose and move fast, real forward. This is probably something that you don't see coming. If this is, if this is you, the person doesn't see you coming. If this is, if this is not you, you don't see this person coming, but here they come because of destiny, wheel of fortune, star. Chariot, justice, lovers. I mean, you can't. A lot of major arcanas. A lot of yeah. major arcanas in that. Yeah. So this is the major arcanas, guys. When there's there's so many major arcanas, that is that's not changeable energy. The changeable mm -hmm. energy is the minor arcanas. So yes, destiny is taking hold, and those are fixed. When it is when it is a lot of when you get that many major arcanas, there's some fixed energy there. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing you can do anything about. There's nothing you can do anything about. Destiny is taking care of it. Uh, the things that you can change are the minor arcanas because you know uh, energy does does change, uh, but that's that's with the 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 minors, not the majors. Mm -hmm. There was more yeah. major arcanas there than minor, though. That was that's huge that was a massive that, change for the amount of cards that you had. That was a huge amount of major arcana. It was. So it was big. Yeah. So okay. So Leo, so here, something's coming. <laughs> yes, definitely. Change is coming big time. Okay, so we're going for Virgo here. What's Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Holy Spirit. Okay, Hermit. They're coming in. They're coming in. Oh. This is the card of Virgo. Okay, so you may have been having an awakening, or the light's been shed on something that has to do with some kind of a burden with that Ten of Wands and the Magician. Oh, okay. That so a... you're manifesting your happiness. So you've gone within about some kind of a burden and you've decided that you want to be happy. So regardless of what somebody else wants around you, you're choosing your happiness over whatever. Um, I feel like you're going to apologize to somebody for some deception and you're you're wanting to offer a new beginning of love and abundance to reconcile. You're mastering your emotions because you know this person's going to be pissed. Now, I feel like this is Virgo. I feel like you're mastering your emotions or you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but they're coming in at, the person that you're coming towards is in the Queen of Swords mode, whether this is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which it could be, um, or it could be somebody who's just, you know, you're apologizing for deception. So this person's kind of cold. This person's like, um, let your actions and your words match before we take this anywhere. That's how that's how I would see it. So because you're yeah. gone within about some kind of a burden and you're manifesting happiness, apologizing for deception to have a new beginning, you want to reconcile. And I feel like you're the king of cups here and she's the queen of swords. Uh, I say he, she, it doesn't matter. That's the energy that's here. Um, taking the time to look at something with a different mindset and having some regrets. So I feel like you regret something you want to apologize for. You're trying to master your emotions to do it. And you know, this person may come at you with some cold energy, but don't let that deter you. I feel like even if this person has cold energy, um, I feel like if you are coming from the heart and you're, you're being honest and open and you're, you're, making a change, you know, you don't come back and apologize and then do the same stuff over again. But if there's something that you're going to offer this person in a healthy way, go for it. Yeah. The queen of swords is very pragmatic, but she's also my don't lie to me or I'll cut you card. She's not yeah. playing game, but yeah. she is very pragmatic and she will listen to you. She yes. will, but you better, you better come at her straight or yeah, you're going exactly. to get the ass into that sword. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> We have the Hierophant here, which could be, um, which could be 
on this deck, it says spiritual advisement, which it could be. It could be somebody, you know, trying to heal a relationship or getting advice about a relationship, but there's a relationship nonetheless. Um, two of wands. This is what's going on. You, you or your person wants to be in a relationship with you, and they may be talking to other people about that, getting tips or whatever, but they're planning to come towards you, deciding. Um, seven of wands. Uh, I think that, I think that they're worried that, you know, whoever, whoever you or, or this is, is worried that the person is going to be on the defense. And they probably are if they're, if there's been some shenanigans in the past, but, um, we've got the empress here. I think this is the person you're going towards. She may be a little defensive. She may be a little, I don't trust you. I don't like it. And I don't trust you, but, um, evolving eight of cups. It says evolving. I feel like you are working on yourself. You have done some change or vice versa. Um, queen of pentacles, just because we have the empress here and the queen of pentacles does not mean we're dealing with two feminine people. Okay. It doesn't mean anything, but somebody wants something committed and long lasting and they want it with this queen of pentacles. Okay. So, so here you are. I mean, this is earth energy, right? They're yeah, coming certainly. towards you and they want to talk. They're going to talk to you about this heartbreak that has caused all of this, this wicked energy, eight of pentacles, work in progress. We've got two eights here. Okay. So there's change. Um, you're working towards the right thing. And if you tell her the truth, you'll be okay. But you cannot keep secrets from her or she will absolutely shove you off this rope. I mean, you, you'll, she'll, she'll just push you right to your death. But I think there's a chance for you to have um, success in a new beginning, releasing the burden. I think, it's, I think it's a good thing. I think you've got good things coming, but go with the truth. Or if this person is coming towards you, make sure that they're telling you the truth. Don't accept bullshit. Don't no, do it. Exactly. A hundred percent. Okay. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra. What does Libra need to know, please? What does Libra need to know? Empress energy right out the gate. Cause you know, the Empress here is a Libra. She's also a Taurus and a Cancer. Um, King of Pentacles, some, someone solid, stable, dependable, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, wanting to move forward, take that leap of faith. But there's, oh, so Empress, do you want to get married? Is that what I'm seeing here? Because I got the I got the 1111 card and I got the King and the Queens of, of Pentacles. And in the center of that, I have taken that leap of faith. So I feel oh. like someone, uh, and it's causing a tower moment. I feel like somebody's getting hitched or wanting to get hitched. Um, oh, and I've divine partnership. All over my whole body. Okay, so look at this. Under the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups and we have the Emperor. So I feel like it's time for them to come into union. So I feel like you, King and Queen of Pentacles and, and taking that leap of faith, okay, into, you know, the 1111, which is a foundation, a celebration, causing a tower moment could be a good tower moment. You never know. But I got the Empress and the Emperor, and I've got a Two of Cups because, you know, this is time for union here. I mean, I feel like it's time. I feel like, Libra, it's time for the union to take place. Goosebumps all over my entire body right now, my whole entire, like my head to my toes. Good for Libra. Oh. Um, well, your card popped out here. 11, justice, soul contract. So something's coming. Something could be is coming. Yep, could be a marriage. Queen of Wands, that fire energy. Um, this could be a surprise to you and a lot of people, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of things that are hidden. Um, I mean, I've got the moon and the justice kind of sandwiching this Queen of Wands. I feel like, I don't feel like this is you, though. I feel like this is the person um, coming for you or, or wanting you, wanting to be with you, then you, you don't see it yet. You don't, you don't know anything about it or vice versa, or a lot of people don't know anything about it, which is going to cause some shit. Let me just tell you. So six of swords. Um, yeah, you've been working on this for a while or they have, um, in their mind, making that transition, seeing things differently, could be dealing with a Pisces or a fire sign. Um, but we have your Libra, we have your, your card right here. Okay. So I think this is both of you. I think this is both of you. I think you both, I think this person is going to show up and you're going to see each other differently. Um, and it is going to leave somebody out in the cold because it's nobody sees it coming and somebody is with someone, but six of cups, memories and reunion. Okay. So you've got somebody probably from your past could be past life. 
coming right towards you and you don't see them coming. Like, it's like they're traveling by night, okay, with this six of swords and the moon. It's like that you don't see them coming. But once they get there, you two are both, both going to be on the same page. But somebody is going to get left out because one of you is in a relationship, okay? But you're coming back together. Bottom of the deck, ace of wands for a brand new beginning. Three of swords, there's that third party. 19, sun, there's your happiness. And we got the chariot and the ace of cups and the star. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. It's time for you. Come on now. You're, you're, yeah, you're, getting, you're getting your you're getting your union. So okay. So if, if you're not the you. one if you're not the one going, someone's coming to you. Count there on you it. Go. Okay. Uh Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Clarity and guidance for Scorpio. Or poor okay. Scorpio. There's communication. Oh, somebody's hurt and unhappy. And they're kind of, I feel like, very angry, but they're at a crossroads. They've got to make a decision here. Under the bottom of the deck, the emperor, deception. Oh, oh. oh okay. Guys, wow. there is somebody's communicating that they're hurt, they're upset, and they're coming in as queen of swords energy. Now, Scorpio, I don't know if you're the queen of swords. I don't know if you're the emperor, and I don't know if you're the uh, nine of pentacles, but they're at a crossroads. Whoever got hurt by all this, somebody's found out that the emperor had deception with the empress. So oh. you could be dealing with you could be dealing with a Libra, and I say that because Libras came out with them being in union. Um, and there was some deception, some being, somebody being left behind, a queen of wands. But now you're in queen of swords mode. I feel like you're being very cold and distant and uh, non-emotional about something. But you're hurt and very up in your head, wanting to communicate at a crossroads about this emperor's deception with this uh, pre-empress. Wow. That's, that's a lot of intense energy. I'm yeah, almost, it was. I'm almost, I'm almost scared to... <laughs> I'm almost yeah. scared. Okay, yeah. let's see. Ten of Wands. So whatever has been going on, this has been burdensome, probably for more than one person. And I feel like it's been going on for a while. Like, I feel like this light bulb is about to go out. It's just something has has run its course. Okay. Two of Wands. So somebody's planning and deciding what? What are they? They're th pl deciding to come towards you or you them with messages of love because something just feels heavy. They're, and they're, they're, they're ending that cycle of whatever burden that is and planning to come towards you or you them, take it as it resonates, with a solid offer um, with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? So somebody wants something solid, something steady, something that will grow, okay? They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. So the Ace to the Ten is, is beautiful energy. But we do have two Tens here. So something is going to have to end um, for something else to begin, but we have a divine partnership here. So let me just tell you, guys, yeah, something <laughs> something has to end for something else to begin, okay? So there could be a relationship that's burdensome that's about run its course and somebody is planning on coming in and that's going to abruptly shake it up or whatever. But we do have temperance and the eight of cups, God, and the star on the – so whatever is happening here, whatever whatever – relationship someone is walking away from you're supposed to be walking away from or they're supposed to be walking away from because somebody is coming together here and it's, it is a divine partnership with this two of cups the temperance and the star something has to end for something new to begin something's got to walk away from somebody to go towards a new beginning that's just the yeah. way it is and yeah. it doesn't it doesn't go any other way yeah. wow and that's a that was a those are all yep. good cards <laughs> Yeah, 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 absolutely, hundred percent. And I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> you, I was scared. I don't know what I'm to do with scared. that. I'm scared. I know, okay, right? Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. <sighs> what does Sag need to know? What does Sag need to know? Sag, Empress popping out. Four of Wands. Wow. Okay, you guys see me shuffling these cards over and over and over. Okay, Empress. And the Four of Wands, this is a twin flame, definitely a twin flame, uh, with that Four of Wands, which is about a foundation, a celebration. You have a divine intervention with this tower moment from this Queen of Wands under the bottom of the deck. 
emotionally communicating, but divine timing is playing a role. Doesn't matter. Someone thinks that they're smarter than divine timing because they want to <laughs> win at all costs here, play mind games. And, and, uh, but guess what? That's going to win. That's going to end. That's going to end because someone's, uh, I feel like someone's waiting to rush towards somebody else because they've made a decision and they've manifested mastering their emotions to get justice. So I feel like, I feel like with this queen of wands energy, the tower moment is there's a queen of wands that, that thinks now queen of wands could be you Sagittarius. This definitely is you, or you could be the empress. You take it how it resonates with you. Because I feel like the Queen of Wands is trying to win at all cost. See, here's the thing that someone asked the question today. Who is the soulmate? Is it, you know, uh, is it the Queen of Wands or is it the Empress? Okay, the true soulmate would be the Empress. The Empress is all four queens rolled into one. And she is the divine partner. OK, if you are the empress, then you're the divine partner. If you're the queen of wands, then you're not. You're probably in all likelihood the karmic in a situation. Now, karmics aren't all bad. They're meant to teach people lessons. That's a lesson that you both have to learn. Now, you may be the empress in another scenario down the road. But at this point, take it how it resonates with you. This person's emotionally communicating. And I feel like that emotional communication is, is almost like, I feel the energy of, it's mind games because the, the five of swords is here. So when you're emotionally communicating to somebody, it's almost like you're, you're, um, you're playing a game or you're, um, uh -huh. You're and manipulating. That would be, and yeah, that but would that's, be the queen that's of going wands to end. In a low vibration. Like that's what the queen of wands in a low vibration would do. She will do whatever. Whatever to get, whatever to get she what she wants. Yeah. But I feel like there's justice for this king of cups. He's manifesting a decision here. Um, and, but waiting to rush towards somebody. But if he's waiting to rush in as the, the knight of wands, this will be the emperor in a low vibration. So, Wow. I just feel like that karmic is causing a lot of a lot of a lot of people to maybe act in ways they wouldn't necessarily always act. That well, makes they're sense. All people are people are showing up in in lower vibrations. But anyway, here we go. Temperance. Okay, so something is going to be restored. I feel like it's the balance um, because there's just a lot of negative negative energy. And when I look at this card, um, I, I don't know. It's it's like a storm is brewing sometimes for me, but it's, but it's con being controlled by the universe. Um, again, like I said, something is going to balance itself out it's equality there with that, um, six of pentacles, three of wands. Um, somebody is, I feel like waiting for the right time because it's been a hot minute. They're trying to be patient. Sometimes this temperance can be patient. Okay. Yes. Have equal give and take, um, wait, waiting to rush forward. Um, knowing that, I, you know what? This person feels out in the cold, and I feel like they're already in a relationship. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Got the hierophant. I feel like they're already in a relationship, but um, it, not with their person. Queen of Swords. This could be anybody, but I feel like somebody is going to bring that sword down and, and be like, all right, this is done. I'm finished. I don't feel the way I should. There are secrets in this relationship, or you have secrets, um, but... Somebody's coming towards you with with some thoughts, and I kind of like to think that this all of this swirling stuff looks a little bit like that temperance. But it's somebody I think that's already in your energy that you already know, maybe from the past. But they've been thinking about you. See, if you see the Seven of Pentacles says reevaluation, and the Page of Swords is thoughts. They've been thinking about you for a while, okay, a while. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles. They that could be you, that could be anybody. But we do have two queens on the board, so. One of them is going to get left out in the cold. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Two of swords. There is a decision over an ace of cups that somebody is obsessed with because it is their person. So I don't feel like it's a negative obsession. I feel like they feel stuck. Yes. And that's that's in that karmic situation, okay? In some karmic relationship, the Hierophant. Whew. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Was that? Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity, and guidance for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, Boy. you wanted to fall out here. Queen of Swords energy. I like that. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, Capricorn. The Queen of Swords next to the Magician to me is this is somebody who's plotting and strategizing and manipulation, especially if they're secrets and they're holding on to secrets and they're 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 keeping quiet. So I feel like you have somebody around you who's plotting, planning, strategizing to win. Um, if it's a Queen of Swords, they're going to be really good at that. Yeah, kind of almost very manipulative, manipulative, and um, they're not they're not saying anything. They're just doing they're so much doing magic. It's going to be some communication with the Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio about moving on, about moving forward. Somebody's needing strength. This is either an apology, apology in a relationship. Because, but there's a choice between two here, and I feel like um, it's a defense mechanism. Somebody's trying to block. Somebody's trying to block a choice, okay? Someone's trying to block a choice. Mm. Crazy queen of swords, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, now under the bottom of the deck, I do have the eight of cups, somebody walking away waiting for an ending, okay? Trying to see something from a different perspective about something that was toxic, okay? Wow. So you have a queen of swords here that's that's doing magic. She definitely is. And there may be communication to this queen of swords to hit the road. Like she's trying to scare this queen of cups off, needing strength to apologize in a relationship. But someone, somebody wants to apologize to somebody in a relationship uh, or offer in a relation, offer a relationship, needs the strength to offer a relationship. But there's a choice between two and somebody's trying to block it. Someone's yeah. trying to block you for off from offering your love. Uh, so you may be communicating to a queen of, of cups about about taking a leap of faith, moving forward, having a relationship, offering this person a relationship. But you have a queen of swords here doing magic. And and this person may have walked away, but they're waiting for some kind of betrayal and because to, for you to see something with a different mindset. But it's toxic. Yeah, I, and I and that that Queen of Swords has been coming out a lot, and I just feel like she's quite sinister in this scenario. I come out as Queen of Swords sometimes because I've I've got a lot of Libra, but I'm okay. So Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is reevaluating something from the past, something um something that had the potential to grow and to see a choice twin flame connection. So they're really thinking about their person they're, you're not, they're not with your person. There's being mind games being played, right? Mind games and control over, over this twin flame connection, not wanting these people to come together. <laughs> people, 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 people. Okay. Somebody does not want you together. They're playing mind games because they do not want you together. Okay. That's a freaking fact. Just whatever, whatever else comes out. And there's the yeah. queen of wands. There yeah. she is. There she is holding on, holding on to you because right. she knows yeah. you have, yeah, yeah she, she knows you've got this person out there. So she's trying to hold on to you with, and I'm telling you guys, I come out as, I'm a Leo, Libra, Libra. I come out as queen of wands a lot. And I know that in my low vibration in past, in the past, I will do whatever the F it takes. Okay. That's your low vibration queen of wands hanging on to you, playing mind games. Um, but you've got a new beginning in your energy, right? You've got a new beginning in your energy. It's coming. Somebody's got a choice. It's probably you or your person. Divine timing. There's your empress. Okay. That I don't even know what to tell you. Something's got to end, right? You're waiting on this, but here's the, here's this three of cups, um, which, which can be reconciliation. We've got the yeah. moon. There's a lot of secrets in this, whatever this is. Whatever this is, is nasty, nasty energy, okay? But it's going to yeah. come to an end. Like, it's going to end. So yes. just know that, and you're going to end up with your person. There you go. Whew. Yeah. Whew. I mean, that that's yeah, just, so you guys, th that would be something very typical in a twin flame journey. And a lot of, I've heard a lot of different readers make comments about different twin flame. And unless you are a twin flame, unless you're going through this, unless you understand it from a different level, what we just showed you, that was a typical 
twin flame Th- because it is spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare. It's good against evil. There's lessons to be learned. There's karmic. It's it's stuff that you can't even explain, even if you tried. Half the time you're you're in your own head trying to figure out what's really going on. But believe me, you'll come out you. the other side. Guys, I'm telling you right now, Barb is uh, one of my soulmates, and there's a lot of things I would never have understood without the help of her ex- explanation. I mean, I thought I was crazy. I was like, am I crazy? What? Why do I feel this way? What is happening? And I'm telling you, it's intense. When you start, when you start having awareness of your spirituality and all of yes. the energy around you, it's intense. Yes. And and some of the things that I've gone through, I should write a book about my experience. It's been very intense for me, but call it just another Tuesday. (laughs) Yeah. You, you come, you come through those flames. Not only are you a better person, you're a calmer person and you have better intentions towards others. And, and, you know, you look back and you go, yeah, I survived it and I'm tough and I can do this. I can do this. So, okay. So let's get into Aquarius. Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity and guidance for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, somebody's holding on or holding back. I feel like somebody's holding back from walking away. They want to rush towards you and move forward. So I I feel like uh, I just heard holding on by a thread. So with this four of pentacles, somebody's holding on by a thread, okay? Do they want to hold on or hold back? They want to move on. Um, I feel like... I feel like they want to rush towards you and move forward, but let's see why. Oh, they want to heal something. They can't get you out of their head. They want to communicate. There's, there's, I feel like this person does have deep love for you, but I feel like, you know, they're looking at past mistakes and they're seeing, they're seeing, you know, this is having some regrets, looking back at past mistakes, being patient, having some regrets, being at a crossroads, um, do I block? Do I block something long-term and committed? Or do I apologize, Empress Energy, okay, to to have happiness? You know, this is what's going on. You have someone doing this push-pull, runner-chaser, very hanging on by a, by a thread. They don't want to deal with things. They don't want to, they don't want to deal with it anymore. They, they want to cut the cord they can't cut. Okay, you could want off this journey all you want, but until that person passes away, that cord is never going to be severed. Believe me. Okay, Mm -hmm. and I feel like wanting to walk away, wanting to rush back in, wanting to move this forward, um, wanting to heal, but feeling very stuck up in their head, wanting to communicate. I mean, I feel like it's just almost like a it's just crazy looking back at the past, all the mistakes, you know, missing this person or having regrets, being at a crossroads. You know, half the time you feel like, you know, am I crazy? Do I, you know, my cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here, you know, uh, wanting to block something long term and committed and then turning around. Wanting to apologize, Empress Energy to have the happiness. So I self-preservation, but 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 not understanding what your destiny is. That's kind of what I see. But that's just me. (laughs) Yeah, no, I, I mean, you know, I've been there. I, you know. I mean, I can tell you how many times that I prayed to get off this journey. Like, let me right. cut, this, cut the cord, man. <laughs> when is the next this. stop on this bus? Yeah, let this. Yeah, let this crazy stop for a minute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there we go, Emperor Divine Masculine. And I would also just like to take a moment to appreciate how beautiful he is. Okay, let's. Oh, he's looking good from the back, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> Right. So he wants something balanced. He wants equality. He wants reciprocity in a relationship because a lot of times, guys, in these twin flame relationships, it is like being on a seesaw. I mean, it's just it's just back and forth and you can't ever get leveled out. OK, and he's going to turn his back on anything that isn't balanced. OK, take it as it resonates. This could be you. This could be your person. Doesn't matter. But he does. This person wants to come towards you. He does. But it's got it's got to it's got to be equal give and take. Seven of Swords. See, there cannot be any of this deception. It can't happen, or he is not gonna. He's not gonna stay. He's gonna bounce. But he wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. He wants every. He's thought of ugh. that awakening. Okay. Having that yeah. awakening. Yes, he has kind of um, traveled his path and learned his lessons. You guys, it's kind of like grades in school. Okay, it's like you have to. You have to successfully complete the first grade before you go to the second grade. That is what these lessons are like. 
Okay. If you keep getting the same relationships in a different body, you are not learning what you're supposed to learn. Okay. That's, the, that's just a fact. This, this emperor has walked the walk and now he can talk the talk because he wants equality and he has thought about it for a long time and he has been through these cycles and he's not going to put up with your crap. See, he's not going to put up with your crap. And, and I say your crap, it could be his crap, but don't take it mean because I've done crap. Everybody's done crap. Okay. But he's had a long time to think about all the negativity and all the toxic things that went on in this relationship. And, yes. and it's not just you, it's him, it's him too. Okay. And, and see old wounds with the devil, right? Not letting your past, you know, keep you from what you deserve in the future. Okay. 21, we'll the world. So there's this, right. Exactly. There is a, um, a cycle completion here. There's both of you are going to be on the same page. You're going to get back together with this three of cups or do what you choose to do, whatever you choose to do. Eight of wands. Okay. There's, there's like a new surge of energy after some of this old is sloughed off. There's going to be a new surge of energy and the three of pentacles and the fool and the queen of wands. Okay. So you guys are, you guys are coming back together. If you want to, there's an opportunity to come back together. And this queen of wands is probably, um, probably, I think it's you. I think it's you. I think your emperor has gone through all this and he's coming for you. That's just my opinion. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Pisces, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please? Yep, these is uh, crazy times, and it don't is. block the blessing. You know, yeah. there's we like, all, we I, all I, done I, that. I agree with you, Carly. When it comes to, um, you know, they're like, you know, first grade, second grade. There's lessons to be learned, and if you're not doing the work that you're supposed to to do, you're going to have to repeat those lessons. So until you decide to get out of the karmic. Uh, time warp, basically, that you're in, I mean, you're going to go through the same stuff over and over and over. It's going to be with different people, um, but the scenario is still the same until yep. you understand your value, understand what's important, and uh, understand that you have to put yourself first in a situation and not allow somebody's manipulation and negativity to bring you down to a lower vibration. So yeah, that's why with I dislike the word selflessness, because we should not be selfish. We should be selfish. We should do what's right for us, which makes us in turn by proxy do what's best for everybody else. I don't like the selfishness word. It okay. aggravates me. <laughs> okay. Well, I have somebody that's been out in the cold, this King of Swords. King of Swords always has the intent to win for me. I, as the reader, I feel like this King of Swords. He plans, he knows his opponent, he knows what he has to do to win against his opponent. He wants to come out of the cold, for one thing. Wants to come out of the cold, but there's still some mind games being played here. So someone trying to win at all costs, playing mind games for a long time. This has been going on for a long time. You know, this person doesn't get it. That, you know, stop with the manipulation because, you know, there's a third party situation. Uh, but someone keeps trying to reconcile with the emperor here so let me okay. get some more cards here so there's some devil energy someone's needing strength to work on a situation i feel like with this four of cups they're uh, they're disc they're I, I feel like missed opportunity for their happiness or missed opportunity to heal something and have a new passionate beginning so i feel like there's there's a third party here that wants to reconcile with an emperor. But I have out in the cold a king of swords who's played mind games for a long time. So I don't know if that's the emperor's energy to you or if that's a third party. But there's a three of cups definitely wanting to reconcile with the emperor. Um, but I feel like there's some devil... Um, Maybe the devil was strong. So whatever was toxic was strong. And someone's working on uh, maybe working discontent or working, working on a missed opportunity to heal and have a new passionate beginning. Wow. Mm. I feel like that I, karmic, that karmic was strong. That's what I feel like that okay. devil, just, 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 me as a reader but now there's resting and recovering there's the four of swords and somebody's having some regrets 
a queen of swords. So I feel like there's a there's a true match on the board here, king and queen of swords. But I feel like with this, um, I feel like maybe that was the emperor's energy. So somebody's wanting to, I, I feel like, I, for some reason, was getting third party, but that doesn't have to be a third party. This could be somebody wants to celebrate a reconciliation with the emperor. But this person's been out in the cold for a long time because of mind games. And then so you have somebody resting and recovering, having some regrets, this queen of swords. But it was toxic. OK, this was some toxic stuff here. So this could be a karmic relationship more than it is a twin. Working unhappy or working discontent could be working on a missed opportunity to heal and have a new beginning. I don't know. Let me see what you get, Carly. Okay, sorry, my internet froze, so I didn't hear the end of that. But um, I, I, for me as a reader, I just feel like um, with when you see the devil, that's your karmic relationship, and that relationship, you know that. It could have been with a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but that's a card of Leo. But, you know, that person was a strong influence, and it could have been a longer-term relationship simply because of that strength card, and you need a lot of strength to get out of it. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. So, Ten of Swords. So, I feel like something's ending with this Queen of Pentacles that was a longer a longer relationship. Like, when I say longer, I just mean, you know, years, not months. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But that re that is ending. Um, and it's not going to go well. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Um, queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't have to be. But here we have two queens, okay? One of these is, is going to have a painful ending, all right? Two of Swords, because somebody's going to make a choice. Okay, so these two queens, somebody's going to pick, okay? I don't know which one you are, which one you resonate with. Um, oh, another she's card the, of, you're doing Pisces, so it's the Queen of Cups right there. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. So this one, I guess, this is you. This is somebody else. T you guys, I don't know who's going to win. But when we get when we get the two of swords and the moon, some somebody is hiding something. Okay, they and they're they're not telling you something. You don't see something. You don't know it's coming. Um, another card of like Cancer and Pisces right there. So um, three of Pentacles. What did you have? You had the three of Cups. Is that what you had? I feel like this yeah, is a cups, third party. Yes. This is third party because we have two queens. So somebody is wanting to come back. OK, they're hiding it from their other from their other person, from the person that they're currently with. There's going to be a painful ending because of a decision that somebody's going to make to get back together. And there's your there's your sort of truth. OK, there, there's this moment of somebody's going to tell you big, big things like either I'm coming back to you or I'm leaving you. Take it as it resonates. OK, six of cups because somebody wants to reconcile. I, I mean, I don't even know. There's not even I don't even know. King of Pentacles, um, someone stable, justice, something, someone balanced. So this could be the person that's coming towards you. Okay, it could be an Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. I almost feel like these two are the same. Like they were a pair for a while. Um, but this is it's ending because there's a reconciliation with a soulmate, and that's that's it's justice. It's not karmic justice. It's universal spiritual justice, right? You, you can't even if you were a pair for a while. There's an ending coming. Yowza. Okay. Yes. Lovely, guys. Well, guys. That's all I have. we have for you tonight, um, if this resonates. Uh, don't forget to go to uh, Carly's channel, which is Lilith's Window to Arrow, and like, share, and subscribe. And as well as mine, Quartz Rose Tarot, like, share, and subscribe. And we hope you, hope you all have a wonderful week. Yes. Have a great week, guys. We'll see you next week.